Hello, welcome back to some more Chrono Cross Blind. This is Abigurus here. In the last episode, we visited Cape Howl, and uh, I don't actually know where we're supposed to go to Cape Howl, I think. I do believe there was something we were supposed to do here. Uh, but we did talk with Lena, and she said that Grotus did die. But uh, we told her that she, uh, we were Grotus, but she thought it was some kind of sick joke. So I supposed... Oh, okay, we actually have encountered these enemies before. I just realized that. Oh, good managed to take out him. But I do recall the game telling me to go here for something. So let's just hope that I don't misremember but I don't think I am because I did save out sort of here for a reason I believe and we have a good hit there wonderful and if we can get the next hit to be a good one probably not so we're gonna go play it safe here first there we go let's see if we can get anything fun from beating these guys let's see we get absolutely nothing I'm uh, not sure why not. Oh, we did get some spoils. But uh, no stats upgrades, and that was what was I was looking for, ultimately. Uh, let's see, can I go to the right here? No, I cannot. But I can probably go to the left and pick up this treasure chest here. Electro Jolt. I would guess that is uh, electric damage of some kind. And we also have bone. So, uh, more equipment. Fair enough. So let's fight this beach bum as well. Okay, it was the exact same enemy, so no need to keep that bell in. Although, uh, they are kind of greenish, the beach bums around this area, unfor unfortunately. What's this? I have no idea. Apparently it's a pile. Maybe it's the gravestone of Grotus. Of this timeline, I mean. There's something written on the tombstone. Rest in peace, our beloved Grotus. Died at age 7. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. Well, that's kinda sad. So, you must be Grotus, the ghost of the boy who died 10 years ago. Oh, who's that? Kinda looks like Magus in a way. Don't move! It's no use. There's no escape that way. All you have to do is come with us. But Sir Kosh! Do you think it's truly true that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young man to me! That doesn't matter. We found a boy here just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him! Who is that he they're talking about? Hold your seahorses! Hey, isn't that kid from the beginning of the game? So I did the wrong accent then. Who the... It's kid. Mr. Kid. Out of the way, missy. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? Shut your trap. You're the ones who'd better get out of here, way. Dragoon, eh? You have a problem? Do you have a shaking idea who you're dealing with, missy? That's enough! So, are we going to get into a fight or anything? Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else, this axe of mine will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, would you shut up and get on with it? I'm gonna kick your sorry arses so hard you'll kiss the moons. Okay, so I went from a poorly cockney accent when I first made her voice into a poorly made Irish accent. Great. Great going, Grotus. Great going! Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, missy. 
Oh, so we're actually in a boss fight now. Sweet. So, oh, she has three element slots. So we have Pepper, Salt, and Karsh. And I'm just gonna assume that these two are not necessary to take out. But we're gonna go with the skinny one first. And I can't believe I missed both hits. So, he's in a. Initially innate element color attribute is white Right that does it quick attack him with the opposite element attribute color black How unfortunately unfortunate I do not seem to have any sir You ninko poop you should always carry elements of every color Then how about you there? Ah <laughs> look at them I'm checking in my shoes to tell you this sir but I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, Sir Kosh, show us how it's done. Useless fools! Ugh. Real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. Well, that was a change. But I'm still going after the skinny guy. I missed him, really? Well, then again, they did miss Kid, so... Except for that, of course. Okay, we're gonna split. Are you kidding me? I missed again? Okay, this gotta be working. Good. Okay, so barely any damage. But I think we're having to play it safe now. And then... There we go, that should kill. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they are a bit stronger than I realized. Or he is, I mean. Well, they don't do that much damage yet, so that's good. Okay, so I have Magma Bomb, Fireball 2, and Fireball. What is that? I'm not sure if it's wrong with the screen or... If the capture card acting up or something. Maybe my cables. Okay, so that did not damage all that much, but... It did some good damage. I'm gonna use a regular fire here. Okay, so salt da uh, did uh, or salt did I? So their name is essentially pepper and salt. So it's a pun name. Oh well, I suppose it's better than nothing. And I only have one attack. Not good. Well, so far I'm still doing good on health, so at least that's something. Uh, let's play it safe. Wait, what? Why wasn't I allowed to do another attack? I did hit, a hit him after all. Okay, there we go, he's down. Now I can... Uh, go after Karch, or whatever his name was. Uh, although... You know... Wait, what? I'm not allowed to use Fireball? Maybe I'm only allowed to use Magic once during a battle or something. Uh, ah, better you heal up her while she's taking damage. Okay, so we can only use Magic once during battle, fair enough. Let's use a Magma Ball plus two then. That should take him out. Or maybe not. Well, this attribute is green, so technically fire should be effective, I think. If we go with the col basic color scheme, I mean. Anyway, let's risk it. The okay, we did not take him down. We're gonna go with the most... Efficient attacks again. Okay, we managed to get one hit in. Although I am taking quite a bit of damage. Let's just use a regular attack here. And we're gonna play it safe until now. There we go, I think we have him defeated. Okay, he has a little bit more HP than that then. 
There we go, got him. So that was bad, wasn't too difficult. But that's mostly because he barely damaged me. Crotus and friends reached a new growth level, awesome. That means I can equip more magic now. And Grotus also increased HP by 10, Strength by 2, and Resistance by 1. While Girl increased HP by 8, Strength 1, and Resistance 1. So far it looks like Grotus is the better character. Aside from uh, agility, accuracy, and magic resistance I suppose. Uh, max healing without... Oh, got a bone axe, ivory western ivory helmet. So that's pretty nice. This is harsh. I say we shake it out of here so that we can live to fight another day. Th th these aren't no the ordinary brats we're dealing with. Damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on anytime. Think I lose to scam like you? Ha! You all right, mate? Grotus? Your name's Grotus, ain't it? Yeah, I can't really hold the uh, accent. I'm so sorry. Oh, me? My name is... Oh, we can actually name her. Oh, thanks game. Or thanks capture card, I should say. Uh, but it's probably the game because uh, the HGPVR doesn't even want to... Uh, it doesn't even want to... Uh, uh, record this, probably. Properly. Uh-huh. Her name. Should probably go with kid, but ah, let's name her after Ceres. Why not? From the Much Game Cruise, Much Much Game Crew, I mean. And uh, there we go. And confirm, and of course it will be black screen for me. <sighs> Hopefully this does not screw up the recording. Call me Ceres, nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes and gang up on you like that. They just pissed the bloody hell out of me. I wish I could have beat them up some more. But what was that mob after ya? What do you mean you never even met them before, eh? Ah, forget it. Yeah, and forget it, we shall. Hey, Grotus. How about you and me team up for a while? That Korsh fella ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, uh, truth I'm new to these islands. It's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. <laughs> So, how about it, Grotus? Perhaps it was fate that we would meet up like this. Yeah, sure, why not? Not really sure what happens if I refuse, but... Beauty, mate! That decided then. We're real good mates now. Anyways, it will be getting dark soon. I suggest we head to Arnie and shake up for the night. Sounds like a plan, I suppose. Oh, and Grotus. Don't go trying any funny stuff just because I'm cute and all. Ah, uh, you don't worry about that. Ceres. You don't really look much m like my type anyway. Oi! Let's get our asses down to Termina. Especially not with that language. Oh yeah, mate. I nearly forgot. Let me give you this. It's a teleporter. You'll be able to switch your party members from afar. It's real handy gadget. All you have to do is... Ah, uh, it's a pain in the ass to explain. Look it up in the menu. And we receive the teleporter. Sweet. 
And in uh, chrono fashion, we have the character running behind us. And now I think I'll end off the episode here and I will check equipment and whatnot off screen. Uh, as well as equipping attributes because uh, I don't really want to have uh, the recording and whatnot be uh, affected by it. Uh, as much as I can avoid it. Unfortunately, I, there's nothing I can do about it in general, but... Uh, I will try to do menu stuff and so on and shopping off screen instead. But, uh, yeah. So, this has been Albuquerque. Thank you for watching. Stay frog everyone, and I hope to see you next time. See you then.